I'm Anil Kumar and now let us explore parent functions with respect to their inverse. Which of the following parent functions? We are given a list here. Linear, quadratic, cubic, exponential, absolute, square root, reciprocal and sinusoidal. So which one of these have inverse that is also a function? And part B is what unique common characteristics failed some inverse from being a function, right? So these two are related. And part C is, which one of these have identical end behavior for the function and its inverse, right? So let's analyze these questions. I'll leave part C for you to answer and let's do part A and B. But I'd like you to pause the video, copy the question, write down your answer, and then look into my suggestions. So the first part is have inverse that is also a function. So linear, linear is kind of a line, so inverse will also be a line, so that is that is fine. So we can write down here in our list has inverse that is a function, so linear is okay. Now how about quadratic? Quadratic is like this and if you do inverse it will be like this and as such you can see it fails horizontal line test and therefore its inverse will not be a function so that is incorrect cubic function cubic functions are like this and they will pass horizontal line test and therefore their inverse will be a function so the next one will be cubic for us exponential functions are the functions which are kind of like this, right? So they increases all along their domain. They will pass horizontal line test. So their inverse will also be a function. So we'll have exponential also here. Absolute function. Now absolute function is something like this. It fails the horizontal line test. Now when I say horizontal line test, what I'm trying to say is if I draw a horizontal line, it cuts at two points, just as it cuts here for a quadratic function. Therefore, their inverse is not a function, right? So this is, the inverse of absolute function is not a function. How about square root? Well, square root inverse will be a function. So let me write square root here, right? Square root. You know, square root is a function which is increasing all throughout and it passes horizontal line test. As far as reciprocal concern, it is a function which is kind of like this. Remember, reciprocal function is always decreasing, right? It is going in one direction and therefore its inverse will also be a function so it adds to our list of functions so reciprocal inverse is also a function how about sinusoidal function sine waves are kind of like this right so they fail horizontal line test right therefore their inverse is not a function so we have linear cubic exponential square root and reciprocal functions whose inverse is also a function, right? Part B is related, it says, what unique common characteristic failed some inverse from being a function? And that is our test, horizontal line test. Correct? Now let's look into part C. Have identical end behavior of the function and it's inverse. So now we have to explore the end behavior of the functions and their inverse. I'll take this up in the next video, but you should answer this question and then move on to the next video. Thank you and all the best.